Hey guys, it's Kat. Welcome to a brand new makeup transformation. As you could tell by this awesome outfit, today we're gonna do a makeup of Winnie Sanderson from the movie Hocus Pocus. I am so excited to partner with Spirit Halloween for this makeup tutorial this year. Being that Hocus Pocus is one of my all-time favorite Halloween movies, I immediately picked Winnie Sanderson to create this look for you guys. And if this makeup looks familiar to you guys, it has been featured on Spirit Halloween's promotions, commercials, and YouTube page. But I thought I would upload it on my YouTube channel for you guys as well, so I could answer any and all questions on the Halloween looks that you want to achieve this year. So let's see if we could turn into her today. First of all, to start off the makeup, I'm going to put a wig cap on because unfortunately I cannot grow these luscious red ginger locks that Winnie can. So I'm definitely going to put on a wig later. And then I'm just putting some makeup primer on my face, but do not put it over your eyebrows because we are going to get a glue stick to put on our eyebrows to flatten them down because Winnie does not have any eyebrows whatsoever in the movie. So we're just doing layers of glue stick and powder. I'm doing about three layers on my eyebrows. You can do as many layers of glue stick and powder as you want, depending on how thick your eyebrow hairs are. The sponge I am also using to cover these eyebrows is from a Spirit Halloween sponge kit. But you wanna make sure that each layer is completely dry of glue stick and powder before moving on to the next one. Once those layers are on our eyebrows and they're completely covered, this step is totally optional by getting some orange corrector concealer to hide them under eye circles that I have. The sponge that I'm using to blend out this orange concealer is also from my Spirit Halloween kit that I got in store. And then I am going to do a green corrector. This is also optional just to cancel out all the redness on my face and blend that out with the same sponge as well because we don't want our skin to look like avocado guacamoles when we cover it with foundation. So you make sure that you blend it out completely. And then I am getting my foundation. And then I almost forgot to cancel out the darkness of my eyebrows. So I'm getting the same orange corrector that I was using before onto my eyebrows and then switching back to that foundation color. You wanna make sure you get the foundation all down your neck as well so it's not a complete mask of just makeup on your face. And then I'm getting just a concealer to conceal all the orange around my eyes to hide them under eye bags. And I'm also bringing that above to my eyebrows as well as you can see, getting one of those makeup sponges that I got from Spirit Halloween to make sure it's all blended out. This is definitely gonna make our eyebrows look like they're completely not there just like Winnie's. And then I'm getting some translucent powder to powder and set my under eyes with the same makeup sponge so that our concealer doesn't cake and crease on us when we make all of our expressions just like Winnie does. Then I'm getting some highlight cream and highlighting my nose, blending that out before getting more of the highlight cream and doing like an old age makeup to highlight certain high points of our face near our mouth and chin. You definitely wanna look at reference pictures of Winnie when you're doing this makeup to make sure that you do the makeup to look like her, especially when we move on to the lips. She has a very unique lip shape that I love. So I'm just blending all of that highlight cream out before getting my cream brown paint that I got from Spirit Halloween, I'm using this to contour my nose with a small detailed paintbrush before blending it out with that same makeup sponge that I've been using from Spirit Halloween. I'm also using that brown cream paint to contour the sides of my nose, blending it out with my fingertips and contouring my laugh lines to make it look like she has a lot of expression when she's frowning, laughing, and cackling. I'm also contouring below my chin, as you can see in certain parts of my face, making my double chin show off. Blending all of that out then with the makeup sponge to make sure it just doesn't look like brown lines that I painted onto my face and like actual, more natural creases and lines, wrinkles on my face. Getting that same brown cream paint with the makeup sponge and blending out the contour on the sides of my cheekbones and the sides of my forehead as well. We want to make sure our face has some definition. And then I'm getting that same brown cream paint with a very thin brush and doing little line marks across my forehead for when Winnie has a lot of expression. And once you're all contoured and highlighted, it is time to get your lipstick. I got this amazing red lipstick from Spirit Halloween and I'm just using it with a brush to tap onto the cheeks 
to do like a cream blush rouge, just like Winnie has in the movie. And I'm just blending that out with my fingertips to warm up the lipstick to make it look more of like a bright yet natural flush on your cheeks. Getting that brown cream paint again just to darken in the laugh lines around my smile lines and below my bottom lip as well. Now I'm just powdering down my entire face with translucent powder to set all the makeup. Don't forget your neck as well. And for the eye look, you could definitely get this awesome Winnie eye makeup already made kit from Spirit Halloween. But today we are gonna recreate her look just like in the movie with this cream eyeshadow palette from Spirit Halloween. I'm using the light charcoal gray at the outer corners of my eyes and just blending it with the applicator it came with. Then I'm dipping into that brown cream paint again and blending that as an eyeshadow. It gives this amazing burgundy, nice and creamy blended eyeshadow look. It doesn't look patchy or cakey at all. And it looks almost exactly like the eyeshadow she wore in the movie that's like this mauve brown tones of eyeshadows. So we're blending that eyeshadow even close to the bridge of our nose. And you want to make sure it almost hits the very top of your brow bone, almost where your eyebrows used to be. And we're also going to blend that on our lower lash line, just to give some definition and make her eyes look a little bit bigger. Before getting this black eyeliner pencil that I also picked up from Spirit Halloween, we were just doing a simple winged eyeliner today with this. You also set this eyeliner with some black matte eyeshadow if you guys are going to Halloween parties this year. And then I'm just gonna get a white eyeliner pencil and whiten my waterline. You don't necessarily have to do this, but I really wanted her eyes to look bigger and bold. And then I'm going to curl my eyelashes to prep them for some false eyelashes, putting some mascara on them because we are definitely gonna make her have a semi pretty glam look just like in the movie. And then I'm gonna get my false eyelashes with some lash glue. These aren't really necessary, but It'll make her look just like the eye look she had in the movie. Once those eyelashes are on, I'm just gonna get my concealer and put it on my lips. I know this looks really weird and I'm blending it out with the makeup sponge. I'm getting that red lipstick again with a lip brush and painting the heart-shaped lips that she has. And we're not done with this red. It kind of reminds me of the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. But I'm gonna get the brown cream paint again and paint that very lightly over the red to mix it to make this deep mauve burgundy color just like Winnie has in Hocus Pocus. And once you're done with that, it's time for Winnie's wig. She has this gorgeous, amazing red hair. And of course, I picked up this amazing wig from Spirit Halloween as well because Spirit Halloween has the biggest selection of original costume ideas, props, accessories, hats, wigs, and makeup. And I'm just getting the brown cream paint again to color in parts of my hair so it's not like completely black hair. And Winnie also has a widow's peak, so I'm recreating that. And you can be totally done here, but I got some gnarly fake teeth. Since Winifred Sanderson is known for her large buck teeth in the movie, her signature look, and I actually think buck teeth are super cute. And with that, we are completely done with our Winifred Sanderson from Hocus Pocus makeup look. You can visit your local Spirit Halloween store to get all the products I use in this video. And everything that I use in this video will be down in the description box below. And towards the end of the look, I also added these fake fingernails that are super long, just like Winnie's in the movie. In the description box, there will also be a 20% off discount coupon code for you guys if you visit your local Spirit Halloween store this year. There's also options down below to donate a dollar towards the Spirit of Children Foundation that Spirit Halloween has been doing for years in hopes to make local hospitals less scary for children. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so incredibly lucky to be able to collaborate with such a great company like Spirit Halloween. If you do this makeup look, there will be descriptions down below where you could do a hashtag so Spirit Halloween and I could also look at it myself. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. I'm everywhere. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!